This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust out your eyes. Sway in the morning, Shay 4-5. Ladies and gentlemen, I said if you're a filmmaker, you want to learn the way to break into the business, here's a great way to learn. We got one of the founders of the American Black Film Festival with us today. It's the 19th annual ABFF, and Mr. Jeff Friday is here with us today. Hi, Jeff. Hey, good morning. Now, the, 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 the ABFF is taking place from June 11th through the 14th. Um, HBO is the festival's founding sponsor, and one of the premier uh, films of this year is the movie Dope. And we know this film, Heather, because we hosted the premiere here in New York City. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. We hosted a private screening uh, to see this magnificent film starring uh, ASAP Rocky, Zoe Kravitz, uh, Quincy, who is P. Diddy's son, uh, Chanel Iman, um, narrated by Forrest Whitaker, also Shamik Moore, uh, new newcomer, right? Yeah, she makes new. She, yeah. uh, Pharrell did the music. That's right, Pharrell did. It's crazy. So Pharrell is one of the um, producers, uh, producers yeah, of the film. Yeah, right. and, and, and so is Diddy, right? Diddy, Pharrell, Forrest Whitaker produced it. Wow, that's yeah. an so incredible crazy. movie. It's about a, a young man who kind of faces adversity, you know, has an affinity for 90s hip-hop, and faces a lot of little turmoil as he's trying to either go to Ivy League school, uh, but at the same time break temptations that he found that he goes through in the streets and it's just a whole big tale of chaos and it's a quagmire he faces and he finds a way to work his way through it. Yep. Uh, what a great film, but what a great company, uh, a great organization that you guys have done uh, with the American Black Film Festival. And it's originally it was created to, um, to help minorities Join the party, so to speak, of Hollywood, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and 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 is it has it? Do you think it's helped? Yeah, it's helped. Okay. H here's the deal. All right. Hollywood is like a, a hot club in the city. Popping bottles on the inside, everybody's celebrating, partying. Yeah. But we outside in the line, mm. and there's a doorman out there checking people, figuring out who they're gonna let in, and that's existed. Hollywood's a hundred years old. Uh huh. So that's how they've been operating. Yeah. So ABFF is us going around the back and opening up the back door and letting us in. So now that we've been, you know, we've been doing this for 20 years now and a lot of people have are inside the Hollywood inner circle. It's a circle, bro. Don't, yeah. don't, don't think it, it's, it's an analogy, but it is, it's real. It's real. It's, a, it's an inner circle of people who are making money, selling content. Mm -hmm. We got content. We got story. And then the worst part about it is they co-op our content mm -hmm. and then take it and still don't keep us in the line. Yeah. So this whole mission that I started in 1997 was about opening up the back door and letting us, now we come in the front too. Coming in front But too. we've been in the line just sitting out there, pick me, pick me, and it's, you know, it's yeah. time to change. Yeah, they, I, they used to do that at the tunnel here in New York yeah, City. Yeah. yeah, they used to <laughs> make you. Same <laughs> thing. Me. I remember Chris Rock wrote this letter, I think for, what was it, New York uh, Magazine? The New Yorker. The New Yorker. New Yorker. The, um, yeah, The New Yorker. New York, recently after he released his top five movie, which, by the way, Jeff, I don't know if you saw my cameo in that movie. Um, and, 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 and he, Oscar That's worthy shit. You did right. right? Yeah, it was brilliant. Nobody, <laughs> nobody even acknowledged it. Uh, but he talked about that disparity of minorities in Hollywood, um, and that it still is a shame that in 2015 that it still hasn't changed. But now that we enter this digital age and people have all these alternative uh, platforms like Hulu or like Netflix or all these different places where. A lot of films are going directly on demand. Has that helped at all? It's helped. It's helped a lot because yeah. what it's done is it's layered. It's l even the playing field for people to get their stuff out there. YouTube is probably the best example of yeah. that. The problem is that YouTube's and the Hulu's and the Voodoo's and the Amazons are still owned by the same people. Oh. <laughs> you know, so the Damn. the parties that gotcha. are. <laughs> Before it was the the studios and the theaters. Yeah. Now it's the digital platforms. But how many digital platforms do black people of color own? So you still you're still in the line, bro. You yeah. know, like until we start to own some stuff, and we can say Jeff can say, hey, you know, I want to. You sway got a film. Let's let's do it. It's the same thing. The platforms are moving around every day. There's a new platform. Yeah. A new technology. But what what but the power base is who owns it, man. And and so that that's the piece that. And what we're not doing is the people that are making money. This is my soapbox moment, right? Yeah. The people that are making money, we need to band together and create some ownership of some stuff. Like we, you, we, we sort of people like the Will Smiths, the, like uh, like mm -hmm. you and me. Okay, like let's do got, it. We always listen. We always talk about Tyler and oh, I got a couple of coins. Yeah. We talk about Tyler and Oprah 
And we pick on these people. Why doesn't Denzel have a studio? He don't want a studio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, for all of us who, we got a couple of, let's put our coins together, create something, go out and find the next Rick from a UA, you know, or mm -hmm. Ryan Coogler. Ryan Coogler did Fruitvale Station, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He came from us. Yes. He got his start with us four years ago. Mm -hmm. You know Will Packer? Yeah. Will Packer's got two TV shows on right now. He's done about 10 movies, gross about $800 million. Mm -hmm. 17 years ago, he called me up, Mr. Friday, I got a movie. Can I be in your festival? I mean, real people have come through our festival and making real money. And so we tie, we frustrated enough. What we'll do, we'll be civil rights activists. We'll be arts activists. Yes, we'll, arts we'll, activists. Arts, arts, arts. I like we'll, that. We'll put our coins together and we'll create some power. All the content's coming from us. Everything that's fly is black. Yeah. Everything. That's true. It's always so, been like that, right, Wonder? Like that. All right. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> we're going to open up the phone lines, man. If you're trying to break into this film industry, uh, give us a call. 888-742-3345. Jeff Friday is here. Play the morning, straight for five, 26 minutes into the hour. Jeff Friday is here for the American Black Film Festival, uh, which kicks off um, June 11th through the 14th. Um, and you're going to be able to see a lot of greats who have come through this film festival that's going to be there. Taraji P. Henson is mm -hmm. going to be there, right? She's going to be around? She's the ambassador. She's the yes. ambassador. The ambassador. Uh, the night that the movie Dope is going to be premiered, you guys are actually putting together an old school concert too, right? Yes. Sir. Well, I don't even like calling it old school. Uh, just a, a, a legends concert. It's a hip-hop legends concert. Okay, yeah, who's going to be at that concert? Yeah, we got D-Nice. Spinning at night. Nice. Okay. And Dougie's performing. Dougie Fresh. Uh huh. Um, Roxanne Shante. Uh huh. There. Biz Marquis. Uh -huh. Slick Rick. Melly Ro Mel. Rob Bass. Melly Mel. Wow. And, and we expect many others. So it's just going to be one of those one of those nights. Where know? is that being held? That's at Lot Forty Eight. Stage forty eight. Stage forty eight, and that's that's that well, Saturday or that that's Friday. The, that's Thursday night. Thursday but, night, but no door sales, so you got to get your tickets in advance on abff.com. There will be no no door. Okay, so, so Thursday the eleventh, abff.com. I'm going to it right now. You going to it right now? Yeah. Have you gonna get your yep. tickets? I'm getting it for free. Okay. Yeah, now I got, I got, I got, I got Heather. She's good. Jersey. On Heather. Jersey. Hey, hey Jeff. So how? What's the process if you're a young filmmaker, independent filmmaker, and you you want to submit your film and, and, and hopefully it'll be shown at this at this festival? Okay. So there are four categories of movies. You got feature films, yeah. documentaries, shorts, and then web web uh, webisode. Okay. And so November the process opens up. It's an open submission. We get like 4,000 submissions, man. Mm. We got, wow, we got a jury of people who watch 4,000 movies, which is crazy. Uh -huh. And the best make it. And we, we typically pick about 50. Okay. And so a lot of times people are mad because their film doesn't make it. But it, it, it's subject, it's just subjective and it's fair. The best 50 films make the festival. Man. And, and, that's, and we encourage people because here's the thing. Technology has helped. We talked about level the playing field. So yeah. now you can buy a camera. You can get Final Cut Pro on your Mac. Yeah. That doesn't make you a filmmaker. Right. Mm -hmm. See, I personally think you should have a license. Like, you got to have a license to drive a car. Yeah. I think you should have a license to make a movie because there are a lot of bad movies out here. Yeah. So the festival is about <laughs> helping you make a better movie. Come mm -hmm. to the, there's a class on producing. There's a class on acting. There's a class on writing. So not only do we feature films, but for the people who want to have the films next year, we give you some. We give you a platform to learn how to make better. That's movies. amazing. Who, who are some of the like um, directors or some of the films that have come through the ABFF? Will Packer, we talked about. Yeah, you know he's had several films. Uh, Rob Hardy, I don't know if you guys know Rob Hardy. What was some of his work? Rob Hardy directed uh, Twa, but now he's done fifty oh. television shows. He just uh, hit me. He did Criminal Minds last week. Wow. He directed Scandal. Mm -hmm. You know he's going on to do all the big shows. Uh, John Singleton has premiered movies. Spike Lee had a, his premiere last year. Mm -hmm. Bill Duke, Robert Townsend. Yeah. Morgan Freeman premiered one of his films there a couple of years ago. Wow. So Antoine Fuqua. Yeah. Uh, Lee Daniels. Uh -huh. So all the big name directors are there as well. Okay. All right. 888-742-3345. If you want to talk with Jeff directly, call us. Uh, let me see. We have uh, Aaliyah and Callie. Go ahead, Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Hi. Hey. Thank you so much for having me. How are you doing? Doing great. Say hello to Jeff. Good. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Leah. How you doing? Hey, I'm fine, thanks. I just really quickly wanted to say that you're absolutely right about us bringing our coins together and starting new things. And I really just wanted to shout out a really good friend of mine named Latisse Farner that you may know. I know who Latisse. Owns yeah, he's Collide TV. Yeah, so he, he left a really successful AOL career to do exactly what you're talking about. Collide TV is an online platform 
I have nothing to do with it, but I just am really proud of him, and I wanted to say that there are people out there doing exactly what you're saying, and we just need to support him. All right, thank you for your comment. And you should support this festival. Go to uh, abff.com mm-hmm. and, and, and just see how you can get involved, Aaliyah. We got E on the line who's been holding for a long time. E, what up? How you doing? Hey there. How's it going? Morning, Slay. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Friday. Good morning. Uh, so uh, I actually work in production. Uh, I'm a writer, and I don't have a lot of money. I uh, started in production recently, and I'm trying to figure out a way to produce my content and get my content out there to get sold. That's your question? This is yeah. Statement. That's okay. a statement. Oh, okay, yeah, right. I thought, it was, okay, so how, what would you suggest? What steps should he? All right, so if you don't have a lot of money, I, I would say that you, well, writing doesn't cost money. So you're asking about the writing or the producing? I have content, so writing's already done, but I need to produce it. Okay, so for example, I, I would pull my friends and res- pull my friends and, and, and family to, to to get together crews. I mean, you've got to got there's got to be a film school near where you are. I mean, fi- film students have to make projects to graduate for their thesis. So mm-hmm. I would tap into the filmmaking community through one of the film schools. What what state are you in? I'm in L.A. Oh well, come yeah. on, yeah. Damn, man. Listen, resources all around. Listen, bro. Everybody in LA is a writer, producer, director, or some something associated with that. So I think you got to pull a network of people together to help you get your projects made. That'd be my advice. Okay, alrighty. Thank, thank, thank you, you, man. And go on that website too, abff.com. Support it, Alvin. It's in Texas. Good morning, Alvin. Hey, Alvin. Hey, what's good? How y'all doing? Doing all right, man. What's your question for Jeff Friday? Hey man, I wanted to know what you think about the um, you know, low, low not low budget, you know, as in unproduced good, but I mean, like you know, the Fridays, the simple black movies that we had that are still around today that we love. What do you think about uh, those type of movies? I mean, some of my favorite movies are those movies that you consider low budget. Like Friday's a cl- Friday's a classic. Yeah. Uh, one one thing that people don't know is like even Robert Townsend. What was the one that he did? Um, uh, the, Hollywood the, Shuffle. The, the five yeah. heart. The oh, five heartbeats heart heart in Hollywood heart Shuffle. Yeah. Compared to what they're spending now, these were movies done under three million dollars. Yeah. Lee, Lee Daniels did Precious for two million dollars. Mm-hmm. So the budget and the quality don't really relate. I mean, sometimes you can overspend on movies. So I I encourage you to. Don't let no, no, don't let money stop you from making a movie, man. Some of our best movies in our community have been movies that were were done for less than five million dollars. Um, DB is our movie junkie, and, and not only uh, does he have a question, he wants to know how can he get on that ABFF board <laughs> that actually you know ciphers through these movies and decide which ones are picked. Is that possible? You got about it takes about three months, so I, you're hired if you want to come and sit with us and watch four thousand movies. You're hired, sure. You're high. Oh, All right. Consider consider it. Watch four thousand a day. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing. <laughs> All right, no, serious question. Um last year there was a big story about the movie Exodus, Gods and Kings, and um they were accused of whitewashing the cast because they put a lot of white actors in roles because of the story, you know, being based about Moses and Egyptian in that that area of the world should have kind of went to they felt fans and everything should have went to predominantly black actors. So Christian Bale defended Ridley Scott by saying, I understand it probably would have been better told with, you know, certain act- act- actors of color. But because of the budget being one hundred forty million dollars and you guys need to support your movie so that Hollywood will take notice of great actors who will also bring people to the theaters. Do you kind of agree with that? Do you disagree? Yeah, I see both sides of that. I mean, if you want to tell a true story that they should not have been all white actors. But when you spend $140 million, Hollywood has this, Hollywood truly believes that black doesn't travel. Yeah. So as a producer, if you make yourself really Scott, you make $140 million and you can, and you can put ASAP Rocky in the movie or you can put Colin Farrell in the movie. You know, you're going to put the person that you're going to think that sells the most. So capitalism takes over from, ra- from ration. Uh, or, or rational ability in, in most cases with, with Hollywood. You're, there's always a struggle between what's the truth and what's going to make the most money. And I think that's one of those situations where it, where that just kind of happened. All right. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Okay. I was going to say, Sway, because we didn't have a chance to talk on it, just looking over at the event schedule from the website and what we have in front of us, Citizens, there's a lot of really good things here. Just like 
you know, writing for television. People get confused sometimes, you know, the difference between writing for film and then writing for television. There's a course on that. There's so many different courses and, and an actor's workshop featuring a Sway in the Morning Citizen. Tasha Smith is mm. doing that. Tasha's She's doing that? Okay. brilliant. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's just so many things here. The life of a showrunner. A lot of times the most successful television shows are based on who that showrunner is. You can basically have the the greatest script or whatever but who's that showrunner sort of determines who's if that show's going to get greenlit or not so there's so many interesting things and details in what's going on with you guys i applaud you i thank didn't you. know it was this detailed yeah, and, and broken you. down like this i told sway when he said you were coming here this morning i've been seeing the commercials you know and watching you guys and it's coming across very powerful now and i've always heard of it but i feel like your platform is out there a lot more this year it's very visual and i, I just like what you're doing thank you hey, like what you're so doing. if people want to attend the Black Film Festival, American Black Film Festival, June 11th through the 14th here in New York City. All they have to do is go on the website to get tickets. Right? Go to the website to get tickets. There's classes, there's panels, yeah. there's parties, it's mm -hmm. all type. There, we got about 25 world premieres of movies. Yeah, it's a great date night. Yeah, yeah. You know. I'm gonna bring a date, Jeff. <laughs> so, since you <laughs> said you're gonna give me VIP treatment, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and show off. <laughs> okay, uh, go to abff.com, ladies and gentlemen. abff.com. Jeff, you got social media if people want to reach you directly? It's all through ABFF. I'm one of those quiet dudes, man. Okay. I got I to stay out the limelight. Man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Most, okay. Most, of my, <laughs> most of my social media is through the festival. Okay. It's, what is it? At ABFF. At ABFF and, and, and uh, ABF. And at the American Black Film Festival. Okay, at ABFF yeah. and at the American Black Film Festival and ABFF.com. Jeff, man, the man with a, few, a couple of coins, man. A couple of coins. <laughs> couple of coins. <laughs> all right, a couple of coins, all right? All right, thank you for thank coming you. through, brother. It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shade 45.